On an annual basis, we make nearly 8 million linear metres of fabric, which is approximately 150,000 metres of fabric per week. We started in 1974 as Camborne Fabrics Limited. We have an unrivaled uh, delivery performance. We went into our own manufacturing in 1985, a young company with a really rich heritage. Sustainability is very, very important to us, both in our processes and our products. We deal with about 6,000 orders per week. We've got a very friendly team of multilingual people who are dedicated to ensuring that our customers' projects, no matter how big or small, or where they are in the world, are properly organised and fulfilled. We're particularly guided by a quote by Victor Papaniec, which is, designers are in a powerful position to create a better world or contribute to further destruction. Textiles enhance people's lives in so many ways, through pattern, colour, um, texture, uh, and also safety, performance um, and comfort for the end user. I chose to do a modern apprenticeship because I'm a practical learner and I felt like I'd be learning new skills on the job. The company vision is to be the natural choice for fabric solutions worldwide. Our capabilities start with yarn production, both woolen and polypropylene yarn manufacturing. We also then have warping and weaving and finishing of fabrics. And in addition, we also have a technical knitting site in Nottingham. We distribute to over 80 countries worldwide, including the Far East, the Middle East, America, Europe, and of course, the UK. The brief that we gave to the designers of the interior was to create a smile. You can tell the success of the pods from the fact that we do use them for live broadcasts. The staff like using them for informal meetings, but the fact that we use them on air is a big sign of success, so we're very pleased with them. We are a 13,000 seater super theatre. One of the things we love about the fabric is the fact that it still looks like it was on the first day we opened the doors. Um, you had the Randall, you had the tube map, you had the station identities through architecture, but also about the train interiors as well. I think we normally call it touch points within within the design team. And these are critical points that customers come to contact when they go on their journey. 